Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I recently found out that historians don't know why Greek hoplite shields had ropes uh, hung on the inside, okay? Um, and I, I, I kind of wanted to help them out with that. Now, I don't mean the straps, okay? Because it basically a hoplite shield basically had one strap here that you could hold on here and one strap here for the forearm, okay? Um, and basically this half of the shield would protect your body and the other half of the shield would protect the man to your left. Okay? Uh, so as aside from these two main straps, we can see clearly in the uh, um, ancient Greek pottery that there was other ropes that, that basically are going around the inside of the shield. Okay? Um, and, and to my surprise, historians haven't figured out what they're for. Um, now, the Greek hoplite shield was round and domed. Okay? Uh, and it weighed somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds, which is pretty heavy uh, for, for, for a fighting shield. I mean, my shield weighs about 9 pounds, okay? Uh, so a 15, 20 pound shield is pretty heavy, especially when, you're, when you factor in that you typically are marching for weeks just to get to the battlefield. Um, and, and, you know, historians have speculated, well, maybe those other straps with all those other ropes were to help you know, you know, when you had the, sh the shoulder, the the, uh, the shield hung on your shoulder, maybe, you know, they helped you hold it in place. And, and that maybe that's the case. But I don't think that's the main reason why those ropes are there, okay? Um, and the explanation for that uh, is seen very clearly uh, in Herodotus, okay? Herodotus tells us that when uh, Spartan boys or men would go to war, their mothers would tell them, come back with your shield or on it, okay? So basically the shield, okay, also functioned as a stretcher for the wounded and the dead, okay? Uh, so it was a stretcher. So if, if you picture a shield like this, right? Now obviously this shield was 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 a lot, it was bigger than my shield and it was more domed because if I try to lay a body on this shield, it's not, you know, the curve, it doesn't have enough of a curve to really hold the body in place and it's really not big enough. But if I was to try and lay a body on this shield, I really don't want to be holding on to these to these edges, okay? I mean, your finger's going to get tired really quickly trying to hold on to the edges of, of you know, of, of the shield. What I would want, if I was to use this shield for that re for, for, in that manner as a stretcher, the, th the first thing I would do is I would attach ropes to, around the edges so I can hold on to the ropes, okay, and use it as a proper stretcher. Um, so that's the reason why... A, you know the the Greek hoplite shield would have had those ropes, so that it can be used as a stretcher uh, to take the wounded and the dead back home. Now, this was uh, you know in Greek culture, this was very very important. Okay, the importance of this is uh, seen in the Iliad and the Odyssey, um, and we'll focus on the Iliad. In the Iliad, um, basically, when Achilles kills Hector, right, and he drags his body off and he mutilates it. Okay, Hector's father, Priam, you know, sneaks into the Greek camp and begs Hector, okay, to give him his son's body back so he can take him back home, clean it, um, you know, uh, you know, put the coin in his mouth for the ferryman because basically you have to pay the ferryman in order to get into the afterlife, um, and basically give him the proper burial. Okay, um, now, now here's the thing with the Iliad. You say, okay, so why is the Iliad that important? Well, the Iliad was kind of like the Bible back then, okay? Not the Bible in the sense that it told them who or how to worship. It told them how to live. It gave them the standards. Now, the, the, uh, the Trojan War happened somewhere between 1200 and 1500 B.C., okay? And it wasn't, it wasn't committed to writing for many hundreds of years later. So for hundreds of years, it was being passed down as an oral tradition. Okay, and, and, and here's the thing with oral traditions. You know, they change. As you go along, I mean, basically from generation to generation, things get dropped out, things get added. Okay, um, and, and that's, that's important to us because things that are, that are not important are going to get dropped out, and things that are, gonna, that are important are going to be emphasized. Okay. Uh, so, so that's that's the effect of an oral tradition. So the the, the funeral rites, right, and, and the funeral games, um, you know, for, for 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 Hector, are emphasized as something really really important. Okay, so so we, we see right there that that you know the reason why why 
you have to get the body back home, okay, so that you can give it a proper burial, and especially for the, you know, for, 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 the, for the warriors of your society, because remember, the, the Greeks were basically a warrior society, um, so, so getting, you know, the, you know, these important members of their society, the warriors, back home to give them a, a proper burial would have been very, very important to them. So the, the, the hoplite shield, okay, um, would have been very important for accomplishing that because basically it is an obvious stretcher to be used, you know. Um, in fact, you know, you know, I, I sometimes wonder if, um, because it's like, why do you need a shield that's that, that weighs 15 pounds? I mean, they, couldn't they have found a way to make it lighter? Maybe it needed to be that heavy so that it could function as a stretcher and then, you know, you can carry bodies, you know, from, from one side of Greece to the other side of Greece if you need to. So, so, so that might have been part of the design, okay? You know, um, as they were building their shields, they, you know, they knew that not only would it have to protect them in battle, um, but it, they w it would also have to get them back home um, if, if they, you know, if they fell in battle. Okay? So, um, I hope this video helps out the historians. Um, if you guys like the video, uh, you know, share it, give it a thumbs up. If not, remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.